Hey, my name is Aaron. I'm the robotic sales specialist at Olympus Controls at our Fremont location. I'm here today with Brian Ding, who is our applications engineer. And we're going to be taking a look at a program where we're going to control, we're going to send commands to the universal robot, in this case, a UR3E with a gripper via Python. So today our setup is a UR3E, like I just mentioned, in a Zimmer HRC gripper. So I'm going to bring this over here and you could take a look at the gripper. Um, it's a two finger gripper designed by Zimmer and there's a UR cap so it can be easily programmed via the UR. In our demonstration on the table here, you'll see a jig with locations one, two, three, and four. Via the Python program, we're going to send a command to pick off of each of those locations and then place in an external jig over here. So if you have a program where you want to control the robot via a external PC via Python, this is a great introductory lesson to show you how to do that. Cool. Thank you, Aaron. I'll take it from here. Thanks. Here you can see our UR program. I've created a simple program that has a palette with four locations. One, two, three, four. We defined a palette in the UR program and set the palette to count variable equal to location. When we scroll down to the bottom, there's a thread where the location variable is set equal to read input register zero, which is a value sent to the robot from our computer using Python. First, I'm going to put the robot into remote control mode and then open PyCharm to run the program. These two lines will ask for a user input and store it as an integer that the robot can use. Then I can type the palette location number and press enter to send the command. This program drops the bar off in the place point and then we'll return it to the original location. This can be very useful if you need to place a part in a fixture and return it to the same tray. I'm going to rerun the program, and now I'm fully controlling the robot using Python without any teach pending commands.